Hi everyone, this is Christina from Speak English with Christina, where you'll learn American English and business know-how to become confident in English. Today I am here with Trisha, who is another one of our expert teachers. Trisha, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks, great. Christina. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. Now, last week we talked with Kara about you know how important it is for you to make the time to improve your English because if you never change something, all of those frustrations, all of that you know like personal dissatisfaction, it's just always going to be there until you make the decision to make you know the change mm -hmm. with your English. And today we're going to talk with Trisha about something a little different. Trisha, before we get started, would you maybe like to just introduce yourself? Okay, so I'm one of the Fluency Club leaders, and I also teach some of the some of the people that that enroll in our programs. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been teaching since 2002. I'm originally from Southern California, mm -hmm. and I got my teaching degree in the Silicon Valley, and that's where I began yeah. working. So I have a background in modern languages, but also English and English as an immersion language. So. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, nice. Okay, thanks for that. Yeah. Now, last week in the video with Kara, we talked about, you know, this idea of getting a return on your time and your effort investment, you know, how to mm -hmm. use time in a sort of valuable, intelligent way, you know, just so that the students, they get the most out of the time that they spend. Yeah doing their English. I think, you know, with um, the people that you work with, Trish, I, I, they're probably pretty busy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just like right. so I, many people busy. Yeah. yeah. No, but I know how that is too, because since, yeah. you know, I began my teaching career in the Silicon Valley and that's mm -hmm. kind of how everybody is there. Yeah. So. Um, and so, uh, yeah, um, I don't want to say everybody, but most of the people in our programs have really fast paced schedules. Mm -hmm. And so they yeah. need you can't afford to waste your time. Um, and so, it, you know, you need to make the commitment to spend the time that will give you, you know, something to, to get results, but it's right. so frustrating to spend your time the wrong way. So, right. yeah. um, so I think this is a, this is a good way to approach, you know, the whole idea of, I want to change the way I speak English. Mm -hmm. um, because you get a chance to actually speak several times a week. So that's really important to speak yeah. frequently even though not for a long time possibly, right. but at yeah. least in small frequent bursts where you get to speak. And then meeting with, obviously meeting with somebody one-on-one -on -one is really mm -hmm. great because most of the time, the things that we'll work on allow people to meet their immediate goals. Mm. So it is a little bit of a, it allows you to kind of get ahead in one area. Right. Even though you're spending this time, you, you kind of see something immediate that, oh, it didn't take me as long to write that email or um, I don't have to panic on my conference call. So it's, yeah. a, it's a little bit of an immediate relief also. Yeah, exactly. I think, and that's important because I think, you know, there's sort of that idea of like just that, that pain and that frustration of, yeah. oh, like I have this phone call or this comp call and oh, mm -hmm. I know I'm not going to be able I'm, to express myself. And it's just, yeah, I'm just like to call people. Yes. You know, I try to get through by email or I've had people when we work on an email together, they say, Oh, it took 15 minutes. But when I write one, it takes an hour. And you know, so it, it's reassuring um, mm. to also have someone to ask, you know, how can I say yeah. this? How can I say this diplomatically? I'm going to talk to a client who always interrupts me. How can I get, you know, politely get my words in <laughs> mm, yeah, exactly. Um, so right. it's kind of often it's an immediate relief um, yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah, for those things. And I think you know, like you said, you know, in this program, which is speak business English confidently, that's the name of the program. Mm -hmm. but yeah, like you said, it's it's flexible. So it's like you've got this question or this thing that you just want to be able to ask someone and get the right answer and get the help and feel a lot better. And it saves you time. Yeah. Like you said, the, the, the client who says, Oh, it normally takes me one hour, but with you, it took me 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. that's a, a good example of the, or if you're, if you're interviewing um, yeah. for jobs or a position or something, I, I mean, I've had people, I prefer to, you know, if I'm helping people with an interview question or, you know, something they're going to send in a professional email or on a mm -hmm. resume, 
I prefer to see it before they, you know, before yeah, the sure. fact. Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Because I've actually had people say, oh my gosh, I sent it like that, you know, and that is costing you time also. Yeah. If you're, um, you know, it's it's not, I'm not saying that everybody's making giant mistakes and sure, yeah. things out, but, um, you know, things like that are slowing you down if you, if you say, oh gosh, you know, I would apply for this job, but I'm not mm. sure, and it takes me three hours to write my resume, and then it's the person couldn't understand it. Yeah. Um, you know, so that is definitely, yeah, it's, like, it's kind of like a weight off. And then another weight off is sometimes people worry about things they maybe don't need to worry about. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you can sort of relax. There's, yeah. some, you know, the good news is, Oh, you know, I'm, I, people understand me and <laughs> I was saying it right. And yeah. I can, you know, or at least I got my point across. I can do this. And so there's kind of both, you know. Right, exactly. Like just, you know, learning where you, I guess it's like, yeah, fit, you know, knowing where to focus your yeah. efforts and your energy where it's going to really help you and mm -hmm. where you can stop worrying mm -hmm. and focusing your energy because you're fine, in fact. Yeah. yeah. And then also, you know, a lot of clients, they talk about getting confidence speaking, like they want to feel more fluent. They need to get that practice kind of in a safe environment so that they can feel good about their English, you know, when they're in a high stakes situation, like a work meeting or an interview or something. And that, I think that's kind of what is included in the group conversation part of this program. That's the group mm -hmm. conversation, Faster Fluency Conversation Club, which you are actually one of the leaders of mm -hmm. that program. What are some of the changes that you have noticed in people who come and who participate in these conversation sessions? I think that um, the topics are often very conversational mm -hmm. and so and lead to friendly conversation. And right. then there's also the fact that you get used to seeing the same people over and over again. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. people become friendly, they're happy to see each other. You could introduce yourself a lot at first and then yeah. you know people. And I think that there's a lot of laughing. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, people, people have fun and yeah, you get yeah. to have a kind of English conversation in an environment where you can enjoy yourself mm -hmm. and it's, it's enjoyable and you can yeah. laugh. And yeah, I th it, it's not fun to learn in a high stakes situation all the time. Right. Yeah. So I think it's really important. And there are also some people that tell me that the, the, just the socializing is mm. actually really hard that they can talk about, their yeah. work, but yeah. not, you know, they don't know what to say if somebody says, how was your weekend? And then they, they're like, Oh, good. Yeah. Or it, you know, and so this is the, this is the sort of, okay, how can I actually socialize if I yeah. go to a conference or there's a business dinner or some colleagues call and I, mm. you know, need to be polite and ask them how they're doing and right. what they did this weekend, you know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So there's that, so, yeah, that sort of socializing conversational yeah. aspect, which is, which is I, really important to develop. And you know, I mean, that's mm -hmm. a big, you know, important skill to have in your professional yeah. life as well. So, you know, for somebody, for a client who is thinking about joining the program Speak Business English Confidently, you know, which includes the private individual lessons plus the conversation group, what is the difference between this program and like other options that might be out there like, you know, apps or conversation platforms or, or things like that? I think this one has a really, a very personal edge to it because mm -hmm. of course, when you have 12 individual lessons with the same teacher, yeah. they're going to, they're going to look at all of your goals and they're going to follow your, you know, your individual questions. If you need to change at the last minute, mm -hmm. you need help on this specific thing right now. Right. Yeah. It's really tailored to what you need and what's going on in your life. And I think that our, our fluency club mm. has the benefit of being not completely huge. Mm, you yeah, know, right. I mean, yeah. a lot of people show up to it, yeah. you know, and it's great and it's lively, but it's not huge. I mean, I, mm. I know, I know people when somebody's new, I immediately know, okay, I've not met you before. And, yeah. You know, and then you have the chance to, in three months, you have the chance to get to know people right. and you can yeah. feel comfortable and we remember parts of your story. Mm, so yeah. I think that it's, it's a community. Some mm, people yeah. have stayed much longer than three months also. So yeah. they'll say, oh, you know, you're new and they'll kind of take you under their wing a little bit. I've seen those kinds of conversations mm, that mm -hmm. too. 
Yeah. Um, so I think there's a different feeling to it altogether. Yeah, definitely. I think between, you know, like you said, you've got that teacher with you for the entire time. So they really get to know you and mm-hmm. your objectives and your difficulties. And then right. there's the community and the the conversation group as well. Whereas, you know, like with, you know, apps, they're convenient because you can do them anywhere, but it's quite lonely. And I, I'm not sure. It's good for like doing something in English, but I, I would never try to learn a language, especially for like a business, you know. Yeah, I think at a lower situation. level, you, yeah. when it doesn't matter what you are learning specifically, mm. then it's fine. But at a higher level, it's not tailored to exactly. It just doesn't you. work. It's not fit for your objectives, I think. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. And I think it's the same, you know, also with some of these conversation platforms, which I think are, you know, great for certain objectives and certain needs. But if you've really Mm -hmm. got something like your career, which is, you know, important for you, you you want something that's suited to that objective. Right. Or something Um, that's highly specialized in that. And um, right. And that's been, you know, specialized in that for quite some time, you know, mainly deals with business and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Right. Okay. Well, great. Thanks a lot, Tricia, for sort of, you know, coming on the video and sharing, you know, your experience you. and your advice with the students. Next week, we've got another special bonus video, which is going to be with Matthew, who's another expert teacher and fluency club leader. And we're going to talk about how Speak Business English Confidently makes, you know, just all of this possible for you to get that individual help that you need to join that community, to get the confidence and the fluency in your conversations and how you can do that right now. So if you want to get the information about about the program, but also be sure to get the video next week, go ahead and sign up at christinarobafay.com. And that way I can send you all the information and you'll get an invitation to join the program when we open up on Wednesday, March 18th. Trisha, thanks a lot. I'm sure the students will be looking forward to seeing you (laughs) in the program and I will talk to you soon. Yeah, it was great talking to you. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.